Okay, Sega Saturn. Sega Sports. World Series Baseball. I have no idea what was up with that like VH1 intro. I guess I just say it's the mid 90s. Alright, so you got your options here. You know, there's a lot of modes, four modes, five modes. Turn this down a little bit here. Alright, so rookie veteran, all star. Baseball game is one of the rare ones where I'll play veteran instead of easy. Air on, wind on, DH on. If you want your pitchers to bat, you're doing it wrong. Sorry. Okay, so your sound mode. You can turn the announcer on or off. We'll leave them on. Sound test, you know, pretty standard. Backup utility, pick where to save. Okay, and then there's a database pretty interesting so like let's just we'll just look at the Blue Jays so you can look at all your players on the team so let's look at like Joe Carter here okay so Joe Carter you know he had a an okay year but look at the games there he was 111 so then if we look at, let's see, somebody that would have played a lot. Roberto Alomar probably would have played a lot. 107. Right? So the problem is... Let's see. No one. Wow, he only played 40. Um, this is based on the 94 season, and the 94 season was shortened by a strike. There was no playoffs, no World Series and no World Series champion for the first time in like 91 years or something like that so you know there's guys that still have some pretty solid stats but they're they were almost 50 games shy of a full season or maybe it was 50 games exactly I'm not really sure but uh, and I'm not sure how the stats affect how the players are created in the game but that's why some of the numbers seem low on some of these dudes so you can do a pennant race. I know. I'm not gonna play as a Blue Jays. I'm just gonna show you what you got here. So you can play 13, 26, or 162 games. So if you're a maniac, you know you could do that. But we're very much not gonna do that. It's pretty interesting though. All you guys started. You know, just a base season, and stats go from there. So it keeps track of it all. Pretty interesting. You got uh, playoffs is just a bracket. You go uh, division championship, league championship, and then World Series. But I think once you go into this, you can't get out. So I'm not going to go in there because I don't want to reset the whole system. The All Star Game is National League versus American League All Stars. And uh, well, I'll do Home Run Derby first. Just show. We'll do, we'll do two guys here. How about uh, how about Griffey? And let's see. We'll take Bonds. Bonds was uh, still roughly on the up and up at this point, right? So four parts, the three classics, and then the Astrodome. I don't don't know if they just wanted to have a turf 
indoor stadium or what, but that's definitely not one I would have picked. Um, you know, shows your dimensions there, so you know, Fenway is hard to hit it out of center, but the other side is maybe not so much. We'll go to Wrigley. We'll do a night game. Because it's usually in the evening anyway. And now you pick your guys, which is weird, so you kind of got to know what player you want to play as, or you just wing it once you're in here, so... You, know, you can see their output for the year before. Look at baby A-Rod. So, and Bunero is doing okay, but Riffy, man. 40 home runs in 100 and some games, stud. And then Bond's 37, so. I'm pretty sure this was the the demo that came on my demo disc when I got my Saturn was just a home run derby. And for this one, it turns out to be like the, pretty much the best part of the game. Now batting, Ken Griffey Jr. Way too early. Okay. So you get 20 pitches, and the commentator chimes in once you crack one. Goodbye. Pretty funny. This is Wrigley Field, but they didn't have the buildings on the outside. So when you hit a home run that goes out of the stadium or whatever, you can see another. Oh man, that was close. You can see another baseball diamond out there, like out in the distance. See if I can hit one out there again. You know, these graphics are pretty good. You know, to go from the World Series baseball and the Genesis, where it was like the dude's torso took up a third of the screen while you're batting, to this like full thing was really pretty cool. See that baseball stadium out there? Baseball field? Diamond? Whatever. Man, I'm not doing too good here. Maybe I should quit moving him. I'll just swing from where he's at. Regular. See ya. The commentator dude's got a few things that he says, but not a lot. You know, only a handful. Oh, maybe this will show up. Goodbye. Oh. I played this... Uh, I had not, not played this since like 96. And then... See ya. I figured out how to get this emulator going, so I've been messing with this a little bit. So, at the end, it keeps track of your best home runs, like the top 20 on your system. So, like, if you had already played and these ones make the top 20 you'll see them inserted so when this is done maybe a couple of these will be on there I'm not sure but you know it's uh, definitely a cool mode and it's it's quick it's you know sit around and play with your buddies kind of thing you know you pass the controller Everybody takes their turn or whatever, and it's just kind of fun, you know. The the random, only really, ugh. only really random thing you have is the win. So sometimes it works against you, sometimes it helps you out, you know. Ah, sometimes you hit like that and it doesn't matter. I'm not so sure about the music, I guess it's okay, you know, but it could shut off after a while, it would be nice. It's out of here! But I think the, the sprite players with the oh 3D backgrounds is a good look for the game. And the stadiums look, you know, they look alright for the time, this was pretty good, you know. You know, maybe the crowd doesn't look as good as 
some other baseball games of the era, but the Saturn was not strong with uh, textures. You know, like the grass looks okay because it's just green and green, but like go play Tomb Raider and then compare it to the PS1 version, and it's just like, man, this system is not made for this kind of thing. Goodbye. But this, at the time, you know, I got my my Saturn in '96, uh, and I played this demo. I was like, holy crap, look at this, because I was used to Genesis ass baseball games, you know all hand drawn whatever like not this camera sliding around you know camera pulls back when you hit it I mean, that's pretty neat oh my one of the advantages of 3D anyway see ya Okay, animation on the pitcher and on the batter. No, uh, no numbers on his uniform, though. I mean, you know that's Barry Bonds because you picked him, but... No numbers and no names. This is not a very good showing, I gotta say. See ya. I feel like that Saturn demo didn't even let you pick which which stadium and maybe you only pick between a couple of guys. Totally not sure though. It has been eons since I touched that thing. This must be why uh, why he went for a little help later. Oh my! Allegedly. See ya. I remember being really into baseball this year. I started following like late '80s, just kind of casually. But this was one of the seasons where I was like, oh man, this is going to be great, and you know, all this stuff. And then, that was it, they were done. Like, the sports center in the newspaper and that put like, pictures of the padlocks on the gates of the stadiums and all that kind of stuff. It's like, wow, okay. Alright, so, you got your rankings here, you know, distance and which pitches. And then your top 20 list, so I did real good with Griffey that time. I mean, look at that. Five, 539, that's ridiculous, but this time, wow, nobody made it on at all. The well, bar is already set fairly high. I only played like four or five times, so I don't know. Well, anyway. So, Home Run Derby's. That's one of the better Home Run Derby modes I've ever played. It's just a nice clean, it's quick, you don't have to mess around with too much stuff, and it's just a simple, you know, anybody can sit down and play that. Like, how do I do this? Even if you don't know what baseball is, well, okay, that dude's got a stick, you want him to hit that ball, swing the, butt, the bat with the button, done, you know? So, we're going to exhibition here. I'm not going to play a whole game, but I will take Cleveland, just to my tradition going because why wouldn't I and we'll play against let's see there was only four teams uh, you know what let's see the Astrodome what the hell I mean I could pick the stadium anyway but may as well play against them right that's fine Astrodome. 
I don't know that I've ever played at the Astrodome. And day or night, does it really matter? Shit's indoors with lights on. So, pretty good Cleveland lineup here. I guess that's a good... Well, some big names in that Astros lineup. You know, Bagwell, Bill Plantier, I remember him being a big deal. The roof of the stadium looks pretty good. Alright. Kenny Lofton. Alright, Kenny, let's do it. The windup and the pitch. No balls and one strike. The AI likes to pitch outside a lot in these games. So if you go up in the box, Back up the middle. you can at least get a piece of it. You might not actually uh now batting. Omar Vizquel. You might not no poke it through the infield, the but that's the best first. way to do it. Oh. No balls and one strike. Unless he throws that shit. The throw oh. to second. Close play. Two outs. Double play. Now batting. Carlos Baerga. Two outs and nobody on. No oh. balls and one strike. I don't even know why I swung at that. You know, good baseball strategy dictates that you let the pitcher just throw the first pitch and you don't swing at it so you can tire him out, but I'm just incapable of doing that. If I can strike out pretty good. Alright, so Brian Hunter. You can use the A button to move your guys. A direction will make them go wherever you want them. And then if you just want to reset, you just hit A again and it'll come back where it's supposed to be. Um, you move your pitcher left and right with the shoulder button. So left and right on the on the D-pad does nothing. It always kind of made me wish that you could do like Street Fighter controls and do special pitches or something. Like maybe they made a like a zany baseball mode or something, but it's not really what this game was going for. So you got you can pitch left, right, and slow and fast, and that's it. There's no higher low pitches. Ground ball through the infield. The throw to second. Base hit. Now batting. Craig Biggio. No outs with a runner on first. And then when the dude's on first, if he takes the lead, I'll show a pickoff. No balls and one strike. A throw to first. Because they can steal on you. And two strikes. Craig Biggio is a way better hitter than this. One ball See that patient eye? He knew. Now batting. Jeff Bagwell. See like one out with a runner on first. Thirty-nine home runs in hundred and something safe. games, like 110, 112, whatever. That's great. That's hit towards left field. He makes the play. I really think what separates these games from 16-bit, or at least this one, I can't speak for a lot of other games because I haven't played them yet, but like most games you had this view, and then when you hit the ball it would like click to a different camera angle, and sometimes it was hard to follow the ball, or like the controls on the guy would be at a different angle or whatever, and it was just difficult to play, but this one like dude hits it, and the camera pulls back and it's very rare that you that you come into a situation where you can't see where the ball went and it's just um, it's cool you know it, it makes it more playable the score remains tied now batting Albert Bell doesn't necessarily make it easier to hit the and the bitch Extra bases. Nope, he's gonna get thrown out of them. Okay. Base hit. Now batting. Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray, silver no slugger. With a runner on first. The runner goes. The ball rolls to the wall. The throw to third. He's safe. Base hit. Now batting. 
Jim Tommy Tommy was just coming no into his own. He wasn't really a stud yet. Ground ball through the infield. RBI single. Now Same with Manny Ramirez. Manny Ramirez. I was never a no huge Manny Ramirez guy. No I think he had a bad attitude five. towards the end of his career, like last five or seven years. But uh, can't deny the man's stats, man. Dude could definitely hit. What if Paul Sorrento hit a grand slam right here? Ball hit between first and second. That'll work. Ground ball through the infield. RBI single. Now batting. Sandy Alomar. Sandy Alomar. Okay, no power for a catcher. You know. The throw to home. Oh, you oh, slow play. ass. Two outs. Both of you. Now batting. Kenny Bo Jackson would have made it. Two outs with runners on second and third. No <laughs> balls and one strike. You can bunt. And two strikes. If you hold the shoulder button. But you can like do that, but it totally doesn't help. Like unless they throw it right at your bat, it's almost impossible to bunt in this game. Now batting. Omar Vizquel. Omar Vizquel is doing it. And runners on the corners. Man, sure can't throw it outside. And I sure am a sucker for it. Ball hit to center field. Two runners left on base. In the top of the second, the Indians score first. Okay, so here's what I don't like about this game. And it's why I'm not going to play a whole game. Now batting, Bill Plantier. I can't pitch the ball until the ball hit to dude's done saying his name. He makes the play. Now batting, Dave Magadan. One out and nobody. You gotta out. wait until the thing starts to scroll off the screen, and they do it every time. And some of the some of the players have either really long names or the announcer will like try to put a little personality into it. Like if you play the Cubs, Mark. Amazing grace! It takes like ten seconds every time. It's like I, I just want to play the fucking game. I don't want to, you know. I know who he is. He's Mark Grace. He's one of the better hitters of the '90s. Like you know, undeniable. But when he comes up for like the seventh time, because I suck at this game, you know. Did he not catch that? Can't believe that. Hooking, hooking, foul. Stay out swinging. The side is retired in order. At the end of the second inning, the Indians lead. Now right. batting. We'll play one more Carlos inning. Bayerga. Ball hit to center field. He oh. makes the play. Now batting, Albert Bell. Really, that's no my and nobody on. my only complaint, but because you know, I mean, it, it looks good for the time. It plays nice. It sounds okay. Ball hit between first and second. Ground ball through the infield. But having to wait on that dude every time Reset. later on in the game when you're now trying to just kind of hurry up. Eddie Murray, one out and like one that. on base. Why well, you gotta wait? You shouldn't have to wait. He makes the play. Now batting, Jim Tomey. Like Two I can move my guy, but first. the pitcher cannot pitch that until. Oh, it's out of here. It's out of here. A two shot to right field. And then you get this cool replay with this beatnik drums or whatever it's supposed to be, house music. Now batting. Manny Ramirez. The Astros are going to the bullpen. Two outs and nobody on. No ball and one strike. The ball rolls to the wall. Base hit. Now batting. Paul Sorrento. Two outs with a runner on first. Oh. Foul. 
We'll do a hit and run here. It's popped up. Oh. The AI very rarely misses, so. One runner left on base. In the middle of the third inning, the Indians had two runs. Now back. So now Orlando Miller. Let's say you want to change your guy. You know, this is pretty basic. Just come in. Pick whichever dude you want. And then you're done. You can turn your announcer on or off. You can change your camera angle. Your defense mode, so you can turn it to auto. But like, what kind of pussy are you? Why would you want to do that? And you turn the radar off, but you know, it's nice to see. You know, Mesa throwing fire. The windup and the bit. and two strikes. The windup and the bit. Now batting, James Mouton. One out and nobody on. All right, sorry, James Mouton. He's hit by the pitch. So you can hit him with the pitch. Now batting, Brian Hunter. One out and one runner on base. No balls and one strike. A throw to first. Foul. Here comes. Now batting, Craig Biggio. Two outs and one runner on base. No balls and one strike. Really, you can't get around at 87. No balls and two strikes. Jeez, he's slowing down already. One inning. One runner left on base. At the end of the third inning, the Indians lead. Now batting, Sandy Alomar. All right, so there's no way to exit out of the game, but that's uh, World Series baseball. It's it's pretty good, you know. If I would have went from Genesis to this in '95, it would have blew my ass away. In '96, I was still pretty impressed by the just the home run derby demo. Um, like I said, the the name thing really it just kind of I get impatient with a baseball game. I like to just if it's arcadey, let me just play it and go. Like I get it for a game where like you got to aim your pitch or you know the more newer baseball games have more complicated batting and stuff but like this is basically an arcade game on a on a console you know so like I said some of the some of the players are just the announcer tries to like add personality to the announcing the dude's name and it's like Shut up, let me go, let me hit the button and skip it, you know, and let me just go. But uh, other than that, you know, pretty solid. And a good start for this series on this system anyway. So, you know, I can't say too much bad about it. But uh, I know if I play towards the end of the game, I'll get really irritated with the announcer guy. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off here, and uh, I'll be back with another one later. So see you then. Thanks for watching.